I'm a potato. You're a tomato. Potato? No. I said it was Meat or cake? my fucking bone in there. I didn't even connect to my nail. You getting it?
just tied my church pants to my shelves. Should be easy. Can I even jump that high? Push a P. Push a P? Say I'm push a P. I'm pushing P. Alright, you, you my nigga. You my dog. <laughs> you my dog. Alright, bro. I love, bro. You my nigga, too. I got good friends in Murphy's, bro, man. I lived it. What'd you call me? Stepnut. You know who you're talking to? Yeah, you. The thing about being isolated is spending quality time with the kids. Dad! <laughs> I want to show you what the inside of a human knee looks like. So, you are looking at the anterior side of the knee which makes this the kneecap or the patella. And what I can do is I can flip that down and I can then move it like this. Now, as I'm moving it, I'm moving it into the position called extension and flexion of the knee. But if you look closely, you're gonna see there are ligaments inside of there. There are two crisscrossing ligaments called the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. And what they do is they prevent your knee from going in directions it shouldn't. So the ACL prevents the tibia here from moving forward in relation to the femur, while the PCL prevents the tibia from moving backwards, from going backwards in relation to that femur. This is a rattle from a rattlesnake. I've always wondered how rattlesnake rattles make sound. Well, if you look inside, you'll see it's pretty hollow. This is very surprising. I thought rattlesnake rattles worked like maracas, and they had little bits inside that knocked around to make sound. But they're hollow, so that can't be the case. But look here, if I pull on the rattle, a piece comes off. 
it seems like the rattle can come apart in different sections. Here's an image that can help us see how the sections fit together. One section is highlighted in white. See how all of the segments fit loosely inside each other? Now look at this. Notice how the segments aren't firmly connected. They have space to wiggle around and move. So when the rattle is shaken, those segments knock into each other. And that's how a rattlesnake rattle rattles. This is a... Whoa, 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 wait! What's going on with these jaws? Here's a skeleton, it's easier to see. If I take off the top jaw and tilt the bottom jaw forward, take a close look, they have so many teeth. Why? Well, these jaws come from a gilt-headed bream, which primarily eats shellfish. So they've evolved rows and rows of teeth, broad, strong, molar-like teeth, to crush the shells of shellfish and access that sweet shellfish meat.